Now that James Webb Space Telescope is in orbit, when can we expect to see its first images of the cosmos? The James Webb Space Telescope was blasted into space by a European Ariane 5 rocket in December 2021 after a 25-year journey costing more than $10 billion. But first, Webb had to be curled up to fit into the rocket's fairing, with its 6.5-meter primary mirror and tennis court-sized solar concentrator, and was only deployed step-by-step step during the first two weeks of its operation. Nevertheless, we're expecting the James Webb Space Telescope to take decent photos of space. In today's video, let us see the top secret images revealed by NASA. On March 11th, NASA completed concentrating the JWSD's reflective surface after weeks of alignment, attaining an accuracy that exceeded the initial objective and yielded the image. The image is crucial because it reveals that JWST's 18 reflector segments have been perfectly oriented, indicating that the space telescope has taken another step towards its cosmic investigation. The achievement marks the completion of a process known as fine phasing. The primary mirror of the JWST is completely invented of 18 hexagonal segments. To focus them, the researchers focused the telescope at a solitary star with few nearby partners. They then modified each panel such that when the 18 individual pictures were merged, they formed a single point of light that was concentrated to within 50 nanometers of the frequencies of infrared light it would see. The researchers then used the near-infrared camera to photograph the star. So even though the telescope was only supposed to pick up the targeted star, it also picked up a scattering of surrounding galaxies. Before this, in February 2022, the JWST team published a picture of 18 strange stars distributed across a dark background. The image revealed a single brilliant star in Ursa Major's constellations, designated as HD 84406. However, the light was seen in 18 distinct places because JWST's mirror sections were still aligning. This ostensibly chaotic capture was caused by JWST's misaligned mirror segments bouncing light back into the telescope's detectors. Nevertheless, it was an essential step in prepping Webb to provide stunning views of the universe. The JWST crew will now focus on aligning the telescope's final optical parts to complete preparations by early May 2022, before continuing to match the telescope's principal scientific equipment. The JWST team picked out more than 20 years ago to create the most powerful telescope anybody has ever mounted in orbit. According to the Associate Administrator for NASA's Science Mission Directorate, they came up with a functional design to achieve the scientific goals. The most recent star image will demonstrate how far the imaging team has progressed in realigning James Webb's mirror in readiness for the spacecraft's first full deep sky photos later in 2022. The first in-focus image from JWST's lenses is tempting, promising future riches to astronomers. Webb's view reveals highly concentrated galaxies that indicate a structure in even these diverse element sources. In contrast to the earlier infrared image of the area from the Spitzer Satellite Telescope and the WISE Telescope, which revealed an array of blobs, we can put together the life biographies of these hidden galaxies because of JWST's unprecedented resolution. We know the camera scanned the field via numerous filters, even though we only receive access to this one image. Looking at the lighting of a galaxy might allow people to make an educated judgment of its distance and so how far back in the history of the universe we are viewing. Of course, that isn't the aim of these images, as more are on the way, but it is a tempting thought. The massive space telescope was successfully positioned in a slow-looping orbit around the intermediate Lagrange point, a stable gravity location 1.5 million kilometers beyond Earth as seen from the Sun, after three mid-course corrections maneuvers. 
but according to the senior advisor for science and exploration, there is still a lot of work to be done before scientific operations can begin. After leaving the French Guiana launch site at tropical temperatures, the telescope and its sensitive sensors must cool to 230 degrees below zero. JWST had achieved negative 200 degrees Celsius by early January 2022 due to its massive multi-layer sunshield, although the passive cooling is slowing down. It's a delicate procedure. The optics must never be the coldest portion of the telescope, lest atoms released as gases from the graphite composite structural support freeze on the reflectors, causing the telescope's performance to suffer. Aligning the telescope's 18 mirror sections could finally begin after the NIR cam equipment or near-infrared camera was cool enough for its sensitivity to mercury-cadmium telluride sensors to take up infrared light. Each hexagonal section has seven actuations and may be tilted, moved, rotated, and distorted to guarantee that they work as one perfect parabolic surface. The first image represents JWST's first light as the alignment technique is done with starlight. However, bringing the 18 separate star images from each mirror into one unified focus will take weeks or months of precise gradual changes. So what about the James Webb Space Telescope's purportedly awe-inspiring first image? The JWST's first photographs images aren't scheduled for another six months after launch, in late June or early July 2022. What it might reveal is a closely guarded secret. It's most likely a star-forming area. The first wave of scientific observations will not begin until the summer of 2022. Astronomers are eager to use their new, pricey toy on their favorite objects, whether it's a distant galaxy from the start of time, a planet spawning accretion disk, an exoplanet's environment, or a creature from our solar system. The targeting flexibility of the JWST is less than that of the Hubble Space Telescope. Because the telescope must face away from the sun to keep its equipment cool, its field of sight will cover 40% of the sky on any day, and accessing the entire sky will take around six months. Nevertheless, JWST's mid-course adjustments consumed less fuel than projected, indicating that there is still enough fuel to sustain the space observatory in its L2 orbit. As a result, its operating lifetime might be prolonged beyond the predicted 10-year time frame. JWST reached its orbital position and ultimately deployed after more than 50 separate steps and two weeks. First, JWST rises on an Ariane 5 missile from the Guiana Space Center. After 27 minutes, it releases from the launcher's upper stage and travels to L2 on its own. Next, JWST's 6-meter-long 5-panel solar array, which generates around 1 kilowatt of power, is installed. The telescope can now run on its power rather than batteries. Next, the high-gain communications antenna is deployed, allowing connection with Earth via NASA's Deep Space Network. Finally, the forward unitized pellet structure is dropped into place, supporting and containing the five folded layers that make up the front half of the sunshield. After that, the deployable tower assembly was elevated by 1.2 meters to improve thermal isolation and allow the sunshield to unfurl in front and behind it. To produce the initial section of its characteristic 21 meter by 14 meter kite shape, sunshield mid booms are stretched on either side, dragging the folded sunshield layers. Webb's sunshield has five captain layers that are tensioned. As a result, the protection side will be as chilly as minus 230 degrees Celsius, while the sun-facing side will be up to 90 degrees Celsius. Next, JWST's 74-centimeter convex auxiliary mirror was deployed on January 5, 2022. It was termed the world's most complex tripod because of the folding construction that supports it. Next, the aft deployable instrument radiator, which vents heat from the space telescope's science equipment into space, was deployed. Finally, the two side panels that make up JWST's 6.5 meter primary mirror are deployed. Its 18 hexagonal pieces are constructed on beryllium that has been plated in pure gold. 
As the other three sensors reach their ideal cryogenic working temperatures and begin recording data, Webb's pictures will get more straightforward, detailed, and complicated. Finally, the first scientific secret images and photographs are scheduled to be released soon. Though this is a significant milestone in demonstrating that Webb is a working telescope, more work remains in the months ahead to ready the laboratory for entire scientific operations with all four of its components. What do you think about this vast update from the James Webb Telescope? Talk to us in the comment section. Then subscribe and like if you'd like to hear more.